Hello, and welcome to another video in the Apex SQL Disaster Recovery video series. In this video, we're going to show you how to recover structure and data lost due to drop operation using Apex SQL Log and Apex SQL Recover tools. While both tools can perform a recovery of a table structure lost due to drop operation, only Apex SQL Recover can also recover the data from drop tables. The tools utilize different mechanisms to perform the recovery. While Apex SQL Log reads only online transaction logs or transaction log backups to perform the recovery, Apex SQL Recover also utilizes information stored in the database MDF file to perform the recovery. Regardless of the recovery type and difference in sources and output, both tools utilize the same approach and create a recovery script which will roll back changes and recreate drop tables in the SQL Server database. In order to simulate undesirable drop table from which we'd like to recover, we've prepared a database with a simple table and inserted some data. Our database is in the full recovery model, which ensures that the transaction log contains full information on transactions which occur in the database, which is used as a source for the recovery. Now, let's quickly drop our table and confirm that the table has been dropped along with the data within. First, let's assume that the drop occurred as a mistake and that the user only wanted to delete the data from the table and not the structure. Basically, the user has executed the drop operation instead of the delete operation. This means that we would like to recover only the table structure, which we can achieve with both Apex SQL Log and Apex SQL Recover. To perform a recovery in this example, let's first use Apex SQL Log, a Microsoft SQL Server transaction log reader, which allows users to view the information stored within the transaction log files and backups, and enables them to roll back any changes found during the transaction log auditing. To get the process rolling, start Apex SQL Log and select the SQL Server. Choose an authentication method and provide valid credentials. And finally, choose a database on which the recovery will be performed in the first step of the session wizard. In the Data Sources step of the wizard, Apex SQL Log automatically adds online transaction log file for auditing. In case we are creating regular transaction log backups, or a transaction log backup has been created since our table was dropped, these should also be added for analysis. In the next step of the wizard, the user needs to choose an output of the recovery process. For the recovery of drop tables, there are two options. The results can be shown in a comprehensive grid via the Open Results in Grid option, which is particularly useful for the situation where the user needs to examine the content of a transaction log file before fine-tuning the audit results and selecting only specific operations for the recovery. The second option, named Undo Redo, allows users to skip the analytical grid and to immediately perform recovery at the end of the wizard. Let's choose the Undo Redo output. The filter step of the wizard allows us to utilize various filters to narrow down and fine-tune the auditing information we are extracting from the transaction log files. There is a plethora of various filters available to the user, including date-time filters, operation, table, transaction, user, field values, server process ID, and transaction description filters. Since we are aware of the exact moment when our drop operation has occurred, we can set up a custom date time filter to only audit this exact point in time. Furthermore, we need to exclude DML operations from the auditing and include the drop table operation from the DDL list in the operations tab. Once all of the filters are in place, we can advance to the final step of the session wizard, where the Apex SQL log has automatically chosen the undo script as output. As an additional convenience, the batch script for command line interface, which resembles session settings inputted by the user during the session wizard, is automatically created by Apex SQL Log in case the user wants to schedule the recovery job or perform it via CLI. After clicking the Finish button, Apex SQL Log will perform a short processing. And then, once it is completed, auditing statistics will be shown in addition to the created rollback script. To open the script, Simply click on the Open File link, and Apex SQL Log will open it in the designated editor, 
which can be chosen in the application options. In our case, we are opening our undo script in the Apex SQL log built-in internal editor. The only remaining task is to connect the script to our database and to execute it to recover our drop table. Apex SQL log will confirm that the recovery was successful and we can check and confirm that our table structure has been recovered by inspecting it in the SSMS. Now that we've shown how to recover table structure lost due to the drop operation, Let's focus on recovering both the structure as well as the old data that resided in the drop table. For this purpose, we'll use Apex SQL Recover, a powerful SQL Server tool which enables users to recover database structure and data lost due to rogue delete operation, drop and truncate operations, recover delete blobs, or extract blobs from the databases or tables from the backups without the need to restore those backups to the SQL Server itself. The starting point for this recovery is the same as with Apex SQL Log. After the table has been dropped, but in this case, we're going to recover the dropped data in addition to the dropped table structure. Once we start Apex SQL Recover, we need to choose the proper recovery, which in our case is to recover from drop table operation. First, similar to Apex SQL Log, we need to select our SQL Server instance provide valid credentials, and select the database from which our table was dropped. The next step of the wizard offers the user a choice in the data sources which will be used to recover the drop table. If the user is not sure how to proceed here, the Help Me Decide option can be chosen, where the application will lead the user through a quick algorithm in order to choose the best possible option. Since we did not create any additional sources, we'll not opt for the Add Transaction Logs, but we will choose the No Additional Transaction Logs Are Available option. The next step of the wizard allows the user to specify the date time period for the recovery. Let's choose the Last Two Hours option, since our drop operation has occurred in that time window, and proceed further through the wizard. In the Recovery action of the wizard, the user can make a choice between recovering the drop table directly to the new database or creating a recovery script, which can later be executed against the original database to complete the recovery. Let's go with the option to create a recovery script. The final step of the wizard allows us to choose between recovering only structure, only data, or both together. Since we want to recover both structure and data, let's simply proceed. After several moments, Apex SQL Recover will complete the processing and provide information on recovered objects and data rows, and allow us to inspect the created script by clicking on the View Script link. Apex SQL Recover has the same built-in editor for the created script as Apex SQL Log, and it should be used in the same manner as the one previously used. So, once again, connect to our database and execute the script. When Apex SQL Recover confirms the recovery has been completed and the script execution has finished, a quick glance at our database and table in the SSMS shows that the table structure and data have been completely recovered. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.